initial for our introduction i'm going to have the amp set on the fender which is the usa setting on the clean gain range and we'll see how best to get a clean sound which is on the verge of breakup that is the classic blues blues rock tone so for that we need to understand the difference between the gain and the volume knob the older amps the earlier amps they had only one volume if you wanted to if you wanted to get breakup you had to crank up the volume there was no independent gain or volume fortunately some of the modern amps do have these and we need to understand how that operates in order to get a better understanding of that we also need to understand the structure of an amp an amp consists of two main parts one is the preamp and one is the power amp these are two sections and in between them is what we call the eq section which is comprised of the tone controls that we just talked about the middle the and the treble and the bass so your signal first goes into the preamp then through the eq and then into the power amp section the gain controls how much your signal is amplified in the preamp section while the master volume controls how much it is amplified in the power amp section so when you turn up the gain essentially you are controlling how large your signal becomes in the preamp section which also controls the amount of distortion that you're going to get so if i crank up my gain a lot i'll get a lot of clipping and a lot of distortion but i might not necessarily get a lot of volume you might say well what's wrong with that the thing is if you don't have your power tubes running in what is called saturation mode then the sound is a, it sounds harsh which is what often happens in the case of solid state amps as well the classic rock sounds you hear were all created by amps running flat out cranked very high when that happens the power tubes are singing as they like to call them which is which means that they are distorting in a very musically pleasing fashion so it's very important not only must you adjust the gain but you must also adjust your master volume so you get the power tubes operating in the stage where they sound their most musical and that's and so you have to be prepared to play loud that's part of the game so let's start with a basic blues um rock kind of tone i have the vintage mode set i have my master is running about 1 between 1 and 2 o'clock i have the fender mode which is the classic blues sound my treble is just at about 11 i have my mids turned up and as you can see my bass is cranked up all the way to get a creamier sound i am running clean and my gain is just past you know i'll set it at noon so you guys can see how it works now i'll play and you can see how the tone changes as i manipulate the controls the guitar volume is set to between 7 and 8 so i'm not playing fully cranked on my guitar volume and there's a reason for that i'll show you in a bit and my pickup is set to be the bridge and the middle for a bit of the again the classic blues rock sound so with, let's see how it sounds sounds nice and musical you know but it's not distorting a whole heck of a lot just yet it's getting there see what happens when i crank up the gain just a little bit what you saw there is the sound of the amp breaking up you can hear a bit more of the treble as well which is why we often need to roll off the highs to get a more warmer sound as you can see i have the master turned up quite a bit the reason for that is to get my power tubes operating in the musical zone i can show you what happens if i turn down the master and turn up the gain and then vice versa you'll see what i mean so when i play you will see that you know it doesn't really sound loud at all which makes sense because we have the master turned on so you're not getting volume but as i crank up the gain you will get more and more distortion so now i'll play just basic very simple stuff and i will crank up the gain so you can see i have the gain set at about midpoint which is 12 o'clock and you can see not 
not seeing a lot of distortion yet. Now let me crank up the gain and see where it goes. You can hear the you know, distortion. I'm going to crank up the gain all the way. So we hear the distortion, the breakup coming in, but that's the preamp breakup. It's not the power tubes that are singing just yet. And you'll be able to see the difference when we try it the other way around. I can also go from here to the hot setting, which adds another round of gain, and you'll see even more how it changes. So this is what you're hearing now is all preamp gain. I have not changed the master volume setting. So this is all the signal that is getting clipped before it hits the power amp stage. You hear distortion, but it's a different kind of distortion as we, uh, I'll show you when we do, when we turn up the master volume while keeping the gain constant. And either or, or is fine. You just need to know which one works best for a given situation. So let me show you how power chords sound as my gain setting increases while the master stays just below 11. Now I'm going to turn the gain up to be about somewhere around 2 o'clock. Nice little feedback we got there. So, you know, it's working. We are getting into nice rock territory now. Now, I'm going to crank up the gain even more. Remember, I'm already on the hot range. So, I'm getting a lot of gain. I'm pretty much pushing the gain of the amp to the max, even while my master is lower. So, I'm not blowing the roof off this room just yet. Let's see what happens when we crank it up all the way, huh? So as you can see, I have the amp running at full preamp distortion, 100%. Now I'm going to show you something that we'll see later on is a huge difference between the preamp distortion and power amp distortion. And you might have heard it being addressed as touch sensitivity, but let me show you what it really is. So, I have the volume of the guitar set at around seven, and or seven, seven, between seven and eight. And let me show you what happens, the difference when I play soft, lightly, with the light touch, and what happens when I dig in. So first, I'm going to play softly. Now I'm going to dig in and hit the strings a bit harder now. You will notice that even though it sounded a bit louder when I was digging in a little bit harder, it really didn't change the amount of distortion I was getting because my preamp was running maxed out. It was already clipping whatever it was, whatever the signal was coming in. So even when I was hitting it harder, I wasn't going to get any more distortion out of it. So my tonality did not change by my by the virtue of my hitting it. Hard, the strings harder or softer. A similar effect comes about when I show, I'll show you by what happens when I manipulate 
the volume of my guitar. Again, that is a key difference between preamp and power amp distortion. So I'm going to play with a softer volume first, then I will turn it up all the way to the max, and you'll see what I mean. The, amp vo the guitar volume is now at 50%. Now, I'm going to turn it up all the way up to 100%. Hear it. Again, in both cases, we were getting good amounts of distortion, maybe marginally more so when I had the volume up at 100%, but not a whole heck of a lot of difference. However, it is completely the opposite when I manipulate the master and keep my gain relatively the same. I'll show you that in a second. Because what then happens is, as you increase the volume of your guitar or you dig in harder, you are, the amount of distortion you get changes. And that is the famous touch sensitivity that gets talked about in the context of tube amps. So let's get to that right now. <laughs> 